At the turn of the 20th century, the Socialist Party established a strong foothold in Minnesota and North Dakota. But the party's lasting influence is not in the handful of local elections that it won, but in the ideas it sparked in nonpartisan league founder A.C. Townley. The Socialist Party has an organization in 1913 in all the states. But the fact that the Socialist Party was interested in the urban proletariat made the Socialist Party kind of problematic for farmers. Farmers didn't see how any of their economic interests might be met. Townley gets involved in that effort, and he immediately develops a reputation within just weeks as someone who can speak to farmers as a former farmer himself. By 1914, he's starting to think about new ways of organizing. He's basically working for the Socialist Party, in no small part because he needs a job. And he's walking from town to town. He's mostly, at that point, in western North Dakota, the spaces where these little towns are new, and there's no easy way to get from one to the other except by walking. At one point, he gets a bicycle. Um, no doubt, he thinks to himself, there's got to be a better way. He and a colleague named Albert Bowen end up in and around Bowman. And in Bowman, they're having conversations. There are some other socialists. They're thinking about what they could do to make this work of organizing for the Socialist Party easier in these rural districts. And they hit on the idea of an automobile. Townley grabs onto this idea, and they start canvassing Western North Dakota. And what Townley offers these farmers as he travels from farm to farm, speaking to them individually, is an opportunity to be part of this organization department for $1 a year. It's a membership that's not a membership in the Socialist Party, but allows them to get certain forms of propaganda from the Socialist Party. He's an original recruiter in that he asks uh, for post-dated checks, and he sells socialism light uh, as opposed to true socialism. You can see Marx and Lenin spinning when you talk about Townley. Just not exactly what they wanted as a super salesman. He ultimately gets canned from uh, being a socialist recruiter and ends up going to watch the uh, 1915 state legislature. And in the process, Townley uh, and some of his friends sit down and start hammering out what they initially call the Farmers Nonpartisan League, uh, which after a while becomes the Nonpartisan League. Sometimes politics um, are led by charismatic leaders and you had in A.C. Townley a charismatic leader, someone who knew how to organize. He forgot all about the Socialist Party once they fired him, but he didn't forget about the ideas. And one of the first things that the brand new Nonpartisan League does before, very, and before many people have heard about it is he starts buying automobiles and he starts sending out organizers. Not only did Arthur Townley engage in direct instruction of organizers, but actually a correspondence course was created for organizers. So that as the league expanded into these other states and you couldn't have Arthur Townley or other league leaders training people individually, organizers could literally get lessons from the national office in St. Paul and figure out how to think about things, how to talk about things, how to approach farmers. What would often happen is an organizer would enter into a district and work to identify at least one or two farmers that they knew would be amenable to the league idea and convince them to join the nonpartisan league. Then they would take them in their automobile and have this person serve as a booster alongside them and go from farm to farm across these rural precincts and have that person help them sign up members. Now this was really important because of course rural America during this period, traveling the salesmen are a dime a dozen. Uh, and farmers are used to having some random person come up the road and try to sell them something. And farmers, of course, have become, accordingly, quite cynical about your random visitor trying to sell you something. So when the league organizer brought one of your neighbors along, that was automatically a signal, even before they got out of the car. It was a signal that this was something that you should pay attention to. He understood that you had to build an organization by giving farmers a newspaper and you give them entertainment and you give them a sense of dynamism in campaigns. He was a person who 
was very modern in his campaign techniques. For instance, in Minnesota, he actually had candidates flying around by airplane. And so this kind of sense of excitement and creating a, an exciting campaign. In that sense, he was a, he was a lot like um, anybody who's involved in campaigns today. In some ways, I like to think of Townley as an entrepreneur, as a person who thinks big, has big ideas, and is willing to put in the time to try to make them happen. Um, and who has some ability to connect with others and convince them that this thing might happen. A.C. Townley was one of the great organizers in American political history. His organizing techniques were taught to Princeton University undergraduates for a very long time by Stanley Kelly, a great political scientist. And, and I found this out uh, talking to a political scientist who, who had gotten his PhD there, and he said, oh yeah, we've learned all about the North Dakota Nonpartisan League and how A.C. Tanley figured out how to, how to make an organization work. At some point, you know, as a historian, you say, where would I have liked to have been? What would I have liked to have seen? I would have liked to have seen and heard the man speak in his prime. Apparently, he could stir people. Many millions of men, women, and children, and robbed half the world's people of all freedom and all property. He could charm the birds out of the trees. Prairie Mosaic is funded by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund with money from the vote of the people of Minnesota on November 4, 2008. The North Dakota Council on the Arts and by the members of Prairie Public.